It was a very successful master class. We had uh, amazing teachers. For example, we had Johannes Mertel from the uh, Vienna Boys Choir come in to do voice. And uh, at that level, we also had the instrumental teachers come in with amazing success with the children from trumpet, clarinet, violin, piano. Uh, they all got to play on the nice Steinway there. Um, here we'll have all Steinways, as we're an all Steinway school. So we, we anticipate that they will tell their friends and they'll come back and also their friends will come with them next time. Das war ein schwerer Alkoholiker. Der war 24 Stunden besoffen. Das muss alles wahnsinnig sein. Ja, das ist Musik, ist eine ganz andere Musik als 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 Alles andere. Sofort der. Es ist ein bisschen kompliziert hier, weil es muss noch lauter sein. Also nein, das, ist, das, ist, das muss anders sein. Jetzt kommt der, 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 dieser, dieser Anfangscharakter. Das war jetzt sehr schön. Der Anfangscharakter, diese, dieser noble Stolz, der war ein bisschen schon... Und jetzt kommt, jetzt kommt die erste Charakterdarstellung. Und jetzt so, wie wenn man selbst überrascht wäre. I think it's very important in very early age or very early stage of your developing to learn how to put the music in system, in frames and to learn certain rules because I think the more rules you have the more freedom you can develop in playing the music because I mean, rules without freedom is dictatorship, but freedom without rules is anarchy. So this this uh, balance of rules and freedom, I think, is very important. And if you don't learn it very early, you will always have problems accepting rules later on. And this is my wish to tell the students that there are just some things that they are like this, no discussion, because this is this is done by nature. Uh, intervals like. Uh, uh, two notes, they have a connection with each other. This is done by nature, there's, there's no uh, sense to discuss about it, because this is just a fact. And there are so many facts in music. And if you learn all these facts, then you will be mu it will be much easier to develop your own personality and to use the freedom within the space, which is still there for freedom. And this I want to uh, this information I want to share with the young people. I have to tell you, I'm very, very happy to be here and get the invitation to the beginning of this school. I'm sure in some years, you're very quick, very quick here, two or three years, it will be number one all, all over the world. Because this ID is the basically ID how to learn and educate it uh, for, the, for the kids. It's very, very important. It's definitely a wrong system that you are going in a school and then you are looking for a good teacher, then you go to another school. No. You have to be everything together. In the morning you start with mathematics and all the other things. Then you are together in the canteen, you are eating together in the afternoon. You have the music and teaching in the evening, the chamber music and fun. And everybody is together in one campus. This is the only way, only way to be a big, big artist. I'm sure that's absolutely the best system.
Professor Lukas to come to share us and he is also interested so that would be a violin class under his spell. He is one of the greatest musicians I've ever met. He is presenting the old Hungarian violin school which was the greatest in the world at her time. It's, it's still presented in him. And uh, for the young Asian students it's the most important thing I find that they they taste the smell of uh, the taste of European way of teaching which means much more weight on musical parts and on technical matters. Uh, in Asia, I find in America too, it's just vice versa. Technique comes first, music comes later. This is different in Europe by tradition. It's on the same level, technique and music. So uh, we have seen an incredible results of, of coping with this demand, especially in Mozart playing and in Tchaikovsky we heard. And in the wind playing and singing, we have asked Johannes Mertel, our director from the Kapellmeister from the Vienna Boys Choir, who had a student here, who could also develop amazingly well a little voice to a big voice within that one week. So I think this is the right model to do it. Very intense training and a short period of time and the right surroundings. Uh, even in the heat we had in Vienna during this week, we could work well. For me it's very important um, that the approach is a very relaxed one. Okay. So the, the, the body um, is relaxed so I can I can open the body and um, the voice and the, and the sound comes from from itself so it's no, no forcing and no doing you have to do this like that or so the approach is a very natural and very relaxed one. Of course, there are basics that has to be learned. The breathing, the, the opening, and um, the uh, vowels has to be uh, have to be correct. Well, and then uh, if the basics are, are fixed, we can work on the on the on the music. And I tried to give uh, the student. Um, and um, an Austrian approach. <laughs> we we studied a song from Schubert, and naturally there's the, the problematic of uh, the German language. It's very interesting, and and also the phrasing we do in Austria. It's, it's really different than in other countries. Sometimes you can also clean, but your clarinet is there is nothing. You have to practice more. Then it looks yes. like really, it it looks like really too beautiful. It lo it has to be look like somebody is practicing madly, okay. um, because there is nothing. So it it looks like yeah. I just take it out of of, of uh, How long do you have this clarinet? For the same time that I've been playing, so about eight months. Eight months. Yeah. yeah but also after eight months, it has to look like. <laughs> I think in the future it's going more and more mix the mixing the crossover projects. That's also I'm I'm playing I, I studied classical music, but uh, I'm also playing jazz and improvising, improvising and play saxophone. So you have to be uh, able to play many different things yeah. and many instruments also. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, for me, I think it's really important 
to uh, know both sides, just, not just uh, how, uh, how it is as an artist on the stage, also how it is to teach. Because I think the best teacher in the world are uh, who is playing on the stage and also uh, teaching. Because I think for the pupils it's, it's the important thing to um, not just saying about the music and teaching and uh, say you have to play like this and, and here a little faster than here slower. Uh, it's really important to, um, to afterwards I'm teaching him, probably I'm playing a concert, he can listen to me or also you have uh, nowadays you have uh, a lot of videos on YouTube or, or recordings on CDs or DVDs. And um, I think it's important to be on both of the sides. First I was also a student, I studied and uh, near my studies I started to teach and then I realized that it's really really another thing to be on the other side uh, because uh, until I was just a student I thought ah, teaching is not, an, not, an, not, a, not a hard work oh, he's just coming listen to me and say something but uh, afterwards I started to teach uh, I had to think a lot of things about so um, um, how I doing this or this and uh, afterwards I think a lot of musicians became uh, to another level if they think about their playing and how to um, give it to the, uh, how to show the, it to the, uh, to the students so I think um, that's, uh, that's my way probably I will, I will I hope uh, for the future I will always teach and always play because uh, if I'm just uh, uh, honestly to say if I'm just uh, teaching, uh, something is missing, but nowadays I really love to teach so probably if I'm just playing uh, Then something is missing. So for me properly for my future there will always 50% uh, teaching and playing so it has to be a, a balance between the two Don't waste your time Your time here is completely towards your career and your academic development <laughs> Thank you.